been in here before, we're gonna check it out, see what they've got. They get an indoor simulator. They've got uh, some guns in there. They've got a range. And so let's go and see. one of these at the last gun show. Uh -oh. Let's see which one it was I got. I think it was this one that I got for my AR. And I really like it. It's a more secure grip. Just want to see how that. Come here. So people do 
talk about that. So, plain old. See, I like a little bit of <laughs> A little resistance? I do. I do. That's good, though, for, even for, Full I size, like the way it feels mil. too. I will admit this one we have the uh, California compliant just a uh, tin round magazine, yes. but you can get normal ones. Good ones. Yeah, well, newbies to come and try it out, but that's a great one. The 380 feel. Yeah, that's awesome. And I would be comfortable with this. Like I mentioned, I try not to, to push any brand. Yeah. Uh, I think brand loyalty is something that you need to kind of get over. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like the Coca Cola thing. Yeah. Like, it's just like, yeah. To put it simply, sure. uh, I mean, I love my Smith and Wesson, uh, but even though I don't personally like Glock, I will still tell people all the time, right. Glock is not that platform. Sure. I still tell people all the time, 365 is an excellent gun. Yes. Uh, and it just a bit more shooter. The yeah. only one I don't really recommend is the uh, Springfield. That's just. Oh, why is that? Just personally, I think it's really sharp. Like the, the mag release, the slide, everything. It, it's just a sharp weapon and it's not very comfortable. Okay. Uh, Josh. Thank you, Josh. Thank you for. No problem. <laughs> So I hope you all enjoyed um, my little tour of this gun range and store. It's pretty cool. It's very nice. Um, I thought there would be a little bit more in inventory, but you know, it's time and a lot of things you can order online, but the people were really nice and it was fun touching some of the other uh, guns. I didn't, I would say I forgot, but the value in renting out other guns before you buy it, you know, it makes sense. 
not, oh, I want that gun because it's cool or so-and-so has it. It's really touching it and using it. Is the worst thing you can do is buy something just off of brand or coolness and realize once you spend hundreds of dollars that you don't like it, it doesn't feel good. And there were alternatives that you didn't even consider, but you were just blinded by that one thing. on the bags you know they're not cute I would never wear a bag that looks like this you know and I know people the manufacturer manufacturers are trying but I wouldn't wear this you want that um yes please that way Thank you.